Hi guys, welcome to Talk To Me Tuesday. It's Tuesday, April 14th, 2015. This is Jennifer. So you may notice that I am a little bit hoarse today. I am just a little bit under the weather. I was hoping it was allergies, but it doesn't seem to be. So we're just going to plow through and I'm gonna share everything that I can with you guys today before I need a nap. I have here, this is my week, I don't even know, 14, I'm tired guys. Uh, yes. 11, 12, 13, week 14. Um, this is my block 14 for the Project of Doom uh, for my quilt and this um, I had made Harry's wand for my uh, Project of Doom and I've also I'm almost caught up in my sister's quilt. I mentioned that I was a little behind on hers. Um, I finished her next couple of blocks including her monster book of monsters and I made butterbeer for her and I want to show you guys a close-up of that block really quick. So one of my variations for the 2015 quilt along was butterbeer, which this is my butterbeer pattern that I designed probably 2006 or so, but I adapted it for this project so it's a little bit larger than it would be if you made the 5 inch block. And I just want to show you guys that this is fussy cut. Can you see the seams in that? I'm kind of silly proud of that. I actually um, laid the fabric um, on the paper and drew the lines through it so that I could figure out how to align it and it took me a while so you can see where I drew on the paper a little bit. Let's see the green lines. Anyway, so that's Fussy Cat and I was really happy with the way that turned out. I also got my crochet out over the weekend which I haven't done in a while so I started a new uh, blanket. I wasn't happy with the one I was working on before so I just ripped the whole thing apart. Started with totally different yarn and this is a line of sideways shell. I made it a little bit wider because I'm doing um, all whites and grays and it's just line of sideways shell. I went back to an old favorite. I've probably made hundreds of these and it's just easy, mindless. I can work on it just sitting watching TV or whatever and um, so that's in progress. I've also gotten a lot of mail just recently. Some of it's for Linus, some of it's for um, the Fat Quarter Lotto that we're doing over on the Project of Doom Facebook group, which I will talk about in a second. And also I've gotten a couple of birthday things and I wanted to share one of those birthday gifts with you today. Um, this was actually from Alita, so I will put a link to her website in the description of this video. And I actually posted about this on SoHooks yesterday because I just wanted to share because it's amazing. So she sent me this beautiful wall hanging for my birthday. I took it out of the box and I thought, you know, I unwrapped it and I was like, wow, this is beautiful. There's a little note on the back and there were some other things in there, she, which I'll show you in a second. And it took about half an hour for me to realize that this was a recreation of one of the pieces my mother-in-law had made that was in stained glass. Um, and I was just overwhelmed, just completely overwhelmed. I just, the, the thoughtfulness and the effort that went into this being obviously a paper piecing um, person myself, I know exactly how much effort went into creating this piece. Um, I'm just, I've been overwhelmed. So you guys definitely go visit her blog and give her some love. She's one of the Phantom and Stitches designers, among other things, and super talented, very sweet, and I just want to say thank you again, Alita, for sharing this beautiful, beautiful piece with me. So in addition to the birthday gift for me, Alita also shared two quilt tops for Linus, both of which are gorgeous. So she sent this one. And she sent this one, and I have already put pictures of these on Sew Hooked, so um, just look at yesterday's post and you'll see photos of these. I'll put a link in the description to my post yesterday so you can see both pictures of her two quilt tops she sent for Linus and the uh, wall hanging she made for me, and there's also a picture of the stained glass that my mother-in-law made. I also want to share today, for those of you that are working on the Project of Doom, if you are not in the Facebook group, but you are working on the Project of Doom, I definitely recommend joining the Facebook group. It will take over your Facebook page, but you can get around that by turning off your notifications. And if you sort your newsfeed by most recent instead of most popular, you won't see as many of the Facebook posts from the Project of Doom group. It does get a little crazy because there are over a thousand people in that group now. The reason I'm saying that you might want to join the group is we are having a fat quarter lottery um, for my birthday. So basically I'm celebrating my birthday by um, organizing this giveaway for the members of the Project to Doom Facebook group and um, I want to show you how many fat quarters I've received. So basically the rules are, are send one to four fat quarters with an index card for each fat quarter that has your address on it and that's what I'll draw for the winner 
And then um, I might actually have two winners. I haven't decided yet because I want to show you guys how many fat quarters I've received so far. And keep in mind the deadline is not till until April 27th. I will make I will do the drawing on the 28th, which is not only a Tuesday but my actual birthday. So so far I have received this many fat quarters. <laughs> And I do think I'm probably going to do um, two drawings. If I could fill them, this is a, a two and a half gallon bag, I think. If I can fill another one of these, we might do a th three drawings. We'll see. But anyway, anyone that's doing the Project to Doom and is in the Project to Doom Facebook group um, is eligible to be part of this drawing. So make sure that um, if you're in that group that you are, you have some of your fat quarters, you still have time. So this is my new cutting mat on my cutting table. This is uh, Sullivan's Cutting Edge and I wanted to show this to you guys. It has really nice big numbers. If you see that little circle right there, that um, it has quarter yard marks, third of a yard marks, etc which is really fantastic for quilters. Not only does it have really big numbers, it is double-sided, which is really nice. Um, also, one notable difference of this cutting mat is that um, if you've ever bought an Ulfa cutting mat or a Fiskars cutting mat, a lot of times they smell weird when you bring them home. This mat came out of the plastic, never smelled bad. It has not smelled bad for a single second that I've had it. It doesn't smell weird. My sewing room smells absolutely normal. You don't have that funky, plasticky cutting mat smell going on, which is really nice. Um, again, this was a Sullivan's Cutting Edge. I got it. I actually ordered it from Amazon because they were on sale and I just really needed a new mat. I had considered getting a different brand, but um, when I remeasured it, I realized it was going to overlap the edges of my table, so I went ahead and got this one. It goes all the way to 38 inches, so it's um, 25 by 38, even though the markings only go up to 37. If you measure all the way to the end, it's actually 38 inches. I think that's it for today. I know that's a lot in one video. Um, I did want to let you guys know that on YouTube, I now have under my playlist page, I put all of my tutorials in one playlist. I put all of my Talk To Me Tuesdays in one playlist, so if you're just watching Talk To Me Tuesday, it will skip all of the non-Talk To Me Tuesday videos. Um, because I do put pictures of like my kids' musical performances and stuff on YouTube as well. So you won't, those won't pop up if you just go to the playlist. So I did that um, over the weekend just to make that a little bit easier for everyone. Um, that is going to be it. Make sure you stop by um, Fandom and Stitches tomorrow for week 15, which is the end of the third row for the Project of Doom. Um, I do have some news coming next week about an upcoming publication, so I will share that with you on the 21st. And um, that's it. I'm going to go rest my sore throat, and I will see you guys next week.